Today we're going to take a look at the Trinity Amplified Indoor HD Antenna. It's got a theoretical range of 60 miles. Um, so we're going to open this up now, do a little unboxing, and then we'll come back a little later in this same video and kind of show you how it works. But let's first take a look at the physical antenna and everything you get for your money. So, nice, really easy open package. They put a lot of tape on the back there. So, all right, here we go, actual antenna. Um, a pretty hefty little amplifier box here. This is a lot larger than um, ones I would expect to find in an indoor antenna like this. So, that is the actual amp right there. It's about the size of my hand. That's not a bad thing. Um, probably means it's a very good one. Nice small little plug. Um, not massive, which is nice. So this is not designed to be powered by your TV. Um, some of these nowadays, they have a USB, micro USB port on there, plug in your TV part there. This is made to be powered off your wall. So make sure you have an outlet available back there. Um, and then right here is the physical antenna. Um, quick start guide. Pretty straightforward little um, guide here. Not a whole lot to it. Um, plug your antenna into the TV, plug the wall in, pretty simple, English and Spanish. Um, you snap these up, three different antennas, um, so that's pretty nice. Cut the cord and save um, money per year. So that's nice, this is, oh, you know what? That's a little fail right there. The sticker is on there a little too tough, but I bet some Windex will take that off. Seems to come off pretty easily with my finger. So, but a little Windex a little later, I'll get that off. But let's take a look at the antenna. So right here is the physical antenna. Not a lot to it, though it does look kind of cool, even though it's got a sticker on it right now. Um, the cable is permanently attached. Well, you know, that's a little downside to me. I like it when there's just a little um, connector on the back coaxial. So that if I wanted to, let's say, put this on the back of one room and run a long cable along the couch, I can do that easily. Now I gotta get a little adapter, uh, a male to male coaxial cable adapter so I can go from this cable to the next. And I find as I add more cables, more checkpoints in the system, we'll call it, the the, the gradation starts to happen in the signal. I, you know, no scientific fact behind that, just personal experience. So, um, but it looks nice. Um, decent looking cable there, a few feet. Um, more than enough for most people. Most people are gonna have this sit fairly close to their TV, but I do recommend trying to get it a little ways away from your TV, because uh, TVs, Roku's, Fire TVs, DVD players, game systems, etc., will um, put off a field that can degrade um, over their signal, especially if it's weak already. So that is the physical device. Yeah, three antennas, um, which is uh, pretty nice to get three different control points there. They're not really, you don't bend these around and turn them, they're just kind of made to sit um, straight up in the air like this. So that's what your antenna on your TV will look like. Well, that's all I really have to mention at this time. There is no additional really ports, features. You just plug this into the wall, you plug your amp in, and you're set to go. So let's go hook this up and give it a test. Well, I've been playing around with the antenna and been impressed. It is definitely a very powerful antenna. Um, really does a great job of picking up stations. This is not the best environment for me to be um, using indoor antennas with because of it being on a lower level, metal, old building, that kind of stuff. It just, it doesn't work the best. And it really did a good job of picking up more stations than a ton of other antennas did. So let me jump here. Impressed, definitely recommend it. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say with an antenna. Um, Advertise a 60 mile range. Of course, being inside this old building where I am, I didn't get quite that. Um, I'm sure if I put it on a much higher floor level, I would have had a better um, reception with it. But overall, it's excellent. Um, you know, I reviewed it in the same position. I reviewed other antennas of a similar um, make and model, and this one definitely picked up more stations than they did. More importantly, the stations that come in are more solid and crisp, and a lot of that may be because you have a bigger um, amp on it. And if we went and put the same amp on the other antennas, it may be similar, but I must say I really am impressed with this 
Um, sorry about the constant flipping here. YouTube is kind of a little picky about copyright, so moving it allows me to publish this on YouTube. Um, but powerful um, antenna, good reception, easy setup. Um, looks nice. Uh, sticker came off pretty easily with a little bit of Windex. Always a tip if you get that kind of gunk after you've used it. Um, use it. You see a little distortion here, um, but this is a station that most antennas don't even pick up at all. So the very minor distortion here and there is not to be surprised. Again, always remember, put your antenna as high as possible. Keep it away from other electronics. Um, keep it away from a chimney. That may sound weird, but uh, most modern um, chimneys on a house have metal through the middle of them, and that will just destroy your um, reception. A lot of people put a TV mounted on your um, above your fireplace and then put the antenna right next to it, and that does damage the ability of the antenna. Move it away from that. Um, get away from the TV would be good too. So that's my review. Highly recommend it as an indoor antenna. Um, of course, you know, play around with the location in the house. That's always recommended. You know, the more times you you places you try, you may be surprised to find out one side of the room gets a bunch of stations, the other side doesn't. So if you like this review, please subscribe, visit us at cordcuttersnews.com, and um, find us on Twitter and Facebook at Cord Cutters News. We do a ton of reviews, how-tos, cord cutting news to help you get the most out of your cord cutting experience. 